guys welcome back to my channel I am so excited for today's video um, if you can't tell already it is a 4th of July makeup look for you guys I really wanted to create a eye look that is totally wearable for the 4th of July yet still festive enough so this is what I came up with I really really like how this turned out I had so much fun creating this eye look and I hope that you guys like it as well so before we jump right in if you aren't subscribed please go ahead and hit that big red button um, don't forget to hit that bell so you can also be notified of any future videos that I have. I upload every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will have those linked down below for you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I am going to be pulling from like two different palettes. You do not have to have these palettes to create this look. Um, you just have to have pretty much similar colors. So I have actually already primed my eyes with my Laura Mercier eye primer. All right, so I'm going to start with my KKW and Mario palette. And I'm just going to go in with this kind of cream shade right here, which is the color, what is it? 2000, oh, that's the wrong one, Decade. And I'm going to be placing this all over my lid. Alright, so now I'm going to be going in with the color Miami, which is just kind of like a, a brown crease shade. Put that right in the crease. Making my way down Ocean Drive. I know the people pass me by. I know they feel it. Yeah, they feel the way that I do right now. Lost in Miami and we were too drunk. I'm just going to take a little bit of Albanian, which is this color right here, and put that in the crease as well. Alright, so next I am going to go in with my Kat Von D palette. This is the Saint and Center, and I'm going to go in with Stigmata. Now, I do have um, a couple different red shades in my collection. None were really the red that I wanted it to be, but this was actually probably the closest. Um, but you can use any red that you feel would go best for your look with this. So, we're going to take that and we're just going to put this all over the lid. All right, for some reason, my camera stopped filming, so I'm just taking that red color and I'm putting this all over my lid. All right, I'm gonna go back and blend that out. We were still drunk from the night before We didn't care if We didn't care if there was snow tomorrow Okay, so I am actually going to pause right here because I want to put on my foundation. Um, now I am testing a new foundation. I'm testing the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. This is the color Light 50. Um, I did pick up two, but this one is just too dark. <laughs> so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply this and then we'll come back to the eyes. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I am back. I have to say that the coverage on this is really nice. I think it's still a tad too dark. You probably won't be able to tell on camera, but yeah, I probably could have gone with a lighter shade, but that's what happens when you buy foundation online. You either have to buy several shades to hopefully get your right shade, um, unless you're just really, really lucky. I don't know. But um, <laughs> let's just get back to our eyeshadow. So I'm going to go back in with the blue shade from KKW, um, which is the color Libra. And we are going to smudge that onto our lower lash line. Um, I had to pop off for just a second. My eyes were getting really, really watery. Um, so while I was waiting for that to stop, I went ahead and applied some tattoo liner from Kat Von D um, on the top lash line. Now I am going to go in with a blue liner on the bottom 
uh, just to kind of get in that water line. I picked up the Milani uh, Stay Put Waterproof Mascara. Waterproof is very important for me when it comes to eyeliner because my eyes do water like a lot. Um, and this is the number five, Keep On Sapphire. So this is what this looks like. Hopefully this will work. I have never tested a Milani highlighter before. All right, so this is that right there. Oh, ooh, yes, okay. Let's get that little swatch. Oh, that's gonna match perfectly. I really, really, really like that. That was really creamy. Um, I like it. All right, so that did the trick. That did exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, so next, um, you're gonna need a white shade to go in that inner corner. The only one I really have is from my Lower Rack Pirates of the Caribbean, um, and this is for Shiver Me. Yeah, they feel the way that I do right now. Lost in Miami and we were too drunk, but it was only you. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit on my brow bone as well. Can we go back to the times we were reckless and free? Just you and me. All right, so now I need some really good mascara. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. All right, gonna go in with the color Baby Love. go in with some Ofra highlighter, my favorite highlighter. All right, let's finish this look off with a red lipstick, and this is in the color Lady Balls from Too Faced. I'm sorry, that name just makes me giggle every time I say it. Lady Balls. <laughs> you and I, only you and I. So I did just pop on two stars just for the fun of it. I mean, it's 4th of July. Why not, right? We got a little silver star, little blue star. Kind of digging the blue star a little bit more. But, um, all right. So this is the completed look. I really hope that you guys like the way that this turned out. I think this is a totally wearable 4th of July look. I really, really enjoyed creating this. So please give this video a big thumbs up. I hope everybody has a happy and safe 4th of July. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.